24-7 Comedy Radio, live at Esther Folly, South by Southwest. Uh, we are in the Velveeta Room, actually, and I'm sitting here with one of my absolute favorites, Kristen Shaw. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you doing here tonight? Comedy. <laughs> no, really? <laughs> well, question mark. No. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do um, some stand-up sets. The Everybody who's involved with the cast uh, with Bob's Burgers is going to do a set. So we have the kids, and then uh, Kurt Brenneler, who plays um, Logan, this bully teenager, and then uh, Larry Murphy, who also plays Teddy in, in various other roles. Well, so what's going on in Austin for you? Are you here uh, just, like, out having fun? Are you, like, entertaining yourself, or are you just working the whole time? Well, I just got in. I took the red eye this morning. Oh, my goodness. And I'm going to take the red eye back out tomorrow. So it's just a quick 24-hour trip for me. Um, but... Uh, so, but I did have fun in my day here. I had a lot of fun. It's beautiful <laughs> weather. I went up to, is it South Congress? Yeah. It's my first time. I was here a couple years ago, and I never made it across the river. I can't believe it. It's so cool up there. Great shops. I got some cowboy boots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe all the different styles. It was like, I felt like I was in a, a candy store. Okay. I love your stand-up. You're so unique as, just a, as an individual. Um, how did you become a stand-up? Um, or is it really stand up? Because it's different. It is different. Yeah, I I guess I started doing like my own thing um, when I got to New York City, and um, I couldn't get an audition for any TV shows or plays or anything. So I I could do open mics. So that's how it sort of generated. I, I I told myself if I was gonna be in New York, then I would have to make the best. I would have to actually make use of the city. So I made sure to produce new material every week and take it to a couple open mics on the Lower East Side. And who are your major comedic influences? Andy Kaufman is a is the number one for me. Um, I also look up to Steve Martin and, and Tina Fey too. She's someone that I always think about, um, you know, that's sort of trailblazing in a way that I, I would hope to someday do. But I, you, don't, I don't know if I could. Are you ever going to take a, a one-woman show on the road? Well, I have. I've done a one-woman show in Edinburgh for a month, and I, then I took it to Melbourne, Australia for a month. So Scotland and Australia. Um, and uh, that was enough. I think it's really tough to do um, your own show. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, no, never. No, I might. I might. I don't know. <laughs> Well, we would love to see more from you. I just think you're so talented and great. I originally, oh, you know, of Clint. course, saw you on Fly to the Concords, which was just, do you miss that? Oh, definitely. I miss it a lot. Why do you think it it went away? I, I think it was just time for the the Concords to do something different. Mm -hmm. So, Are you still in contact with them for maybe something in the future? Um, yeah. I mean, I'm hoping that, uh, that maybe they'll come to my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Well, happy birthday, Kristen Shaw. We absolutely love you. <laughs> this is Quinn. Kristen Shaw, 24-7 Comedy Radio, all comedy all the time, live at Esther Follies in the Velveeta Room. So, bye, Seth West, y'all. Yeah, yeah.